Good morning, family, friends, and fellow sojourners. The story I'm about to tell you um, was miraculous. It had to do with my husband's older brother, uh, George, and his wife, Jackie. Um, they lived in Las Vegas, and um, they were struggling financially and wound up losing their home and became homeless and um, were living in the garage of some friends. I guess they were taking care of their friends' children to kind of supplement um, living there. Well, one day George called us and said that Jackie had been in a coma and was dying and asked if we could come and orchestrate uh, pulling her life support system because he just couldn't bring himself to do that. So we, we traveled from Colorado Springs and picked up my husband's sister, Carol, and drove on to Las Vegas. And when we got to the hospital, we thought it would just be a simple matter of signing some paperwork and having her disconnected. But it turned out to be a little more complicated than that. So we had to wait um, for a couple more days before we could orchestrate everything that needed to be done to do that. Well, in the meantime, because she was in a coma, um, I felt impressed to read scripture to her and to talk to her and to let her know that she was not going to come out of the coma. Um, I didn't know if she was able to listen to anything I had to say, but I still feel, felt impressed to talk to her and to read scripture to her and to pray over her. So as I talked to her and told her that she was dying, um, and I said, uh, if you're able to make peace with your maker, uh, this is the time to do it. And I explained to her what was happening. Well, on the day, the dreaded day um, where we it was going to be done, she had a, she had been intubated and um, had all the, these, I call them bells and whistles, everything that you need for life support was on her. And um, I asked the doctor, I said, well, when you disconnect her, are you going to take the tube out? Because in case she wants to say something, she can talk. And he said, no, we won't take the tube out. So I was pretty upset about that because, about that because I thought, you know, it, it's just so wrong that she's not able to be able to communicate and say anything. Um, I had a friend who passed away from cervical cancer and she was on her deathbed. And another friend of mine plays the harp and she was playing the harp for her Christian music. And Sharon opened her eyes and said, it's so beautiful, I wish you could see it. And she took her last breath. Um, so I know that that people that are dying can do such things and bring a lot of comfort to those that um, they leave behind. But just knowing that she was not going to be able to say anything was quite upsetting. But, you know, I just accepted it. And um, while before, as they were disconnecting her, my sister-in-law and I were singing uh, softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling. And I noticed uh, as we were singing that there were window washers. Now this, she was on the, I think the fifth or sixth floor of the hospital. And um, she hadn't said anything, had never opened her eyes or anything, but I noticed that there were window washers in this, she was in like a pie shaped room. And on the end of the room was a window. And I looked and saw these window washers and I said something. I said, oh, Jackie, I said, I wish you could see that it's such a beautiful day outside. The skies are blue. And she opened her eyes. And I thought, oh, she does hear. And she heard everything that we said and that, you know, that I had prayed and everything. So that brought me some solace. And then it wasn't long um, after she was disconnected that she passed away. And so I, we went to the, their, uh, the place where they were living and I was telling um, the woman that lived there, I said, you know, 
The strangest thing, Jackie opened her eyes when I said, look out the window, and she said, oh, she could stand at this big picture window for hours and look outside to, to observe the birds. She just loved looking outside. Well, I just wanted to let you know that when we went outside of the hospital after it was over with, I looked up and there was no scaffolding, no window washers, nobody was taking care of that one uh, issue that caused me to say, look outside. God knew that she loved looking outside and God wanted to reassure me that everything that I said was important because Jackie had heard everything. And I do believe that she was able to communicate to the Lord and speak to him and um, all is well with the well with the world and well with the Lord. And uh, it blessed me immensely when I recognized that God did that for her and he did that for me. So God bless you, my friends. Take care now. Bye-bye.